vlog and I'm sorry. I've just been super busy these last um, couple weeks, I'd say. There's a lot of things that you have to do to get ready for the program. Disney finally sent us our roommate emails. So the way it works is if you are to do the program with Disneyland in Anaheim, you only get to find out one of your roommates. I don't know if you guys remember, but I requested to be roomed with Haley. Turns out we ended up getting each other, so it's confirmed that we are roommates. So that's good because we've been planning pretty much for, what is it, for like six months how we wanted our bathroom to look like, our bedroom to look like, and like what to bring and all that. So it's a good thing that she ended up being my roommate because otherwise we probably would have been screwed. Now Disney has um, made their hiring process a little bit different. So instead of faxing in all your paperwork and printing it out and all that, they did it online this time. So I think this is the first season that they did everything online. If you are planning on bringing a car, you have to print out the parking agreement and bring that with you on check-in. So I did that. And then, oh, and then if you're um, going to be living in housing, which most of us are for fall, uh, you have to secure renter's insurance. So I did that with State Farm because I heard that they were like the cheapest and um, or not the cheapest but they were like the easiest I guess you would say. They knew what they were doing. I, I contacted the agency in Anaheim so they kind of had all of um, the information of where we're going to stay and all that. So yeah, so secure your renter's insurance and then you have to fax in your proof or your declarations page to Disney which I did that yesterday and then within a few hours they emailed me back saying that they got my renter's insurance, everything's good and so next thing I gotta do is just go to check-in which is on Wednesday you have to bring proof of renter's insurance, your parking agreement um, if you're planning on bringing your car and then you have to bring your housing agreement and then your I-9 documents so such as a social security card, your driver's license, birth certificate, things like that. Bring that to check in and your lovely self and then you're moving in or I'm moving in. I've had time to gather things together and start packing so I have boxes back here of all my stuff and it turns out like I have so much crap I don't even know how I'm going to pack it all in my car because um, I'm driving up there with my mom and my grandma and my sister. So there's going to be four of us in my SUV and all my luggage. I'll, I'll show you guys like kind of what I have so far. Um, okay, so I have my boxes. Um, and that big box is like my kitchen stuff. Um, then I have a little box with like my sheets and my bedding. And I have, yeah, I just have like a lot of stuff. I have a mirror. I have my bedspread and a bag of other stuff yeah I have a lot of stuff shower caddy bathrobe so I got one of these bath mats um, to put in the shower like at the bottom because this is the college program there's people who've been living in these apartments people in the showers and you just don't really know what's been going on in there so I got this just to be extra Okay, so I had a question about if the apartments had filtered water refrigerators, and um, it turns out that they don't, so I had to figure out a way to like get filtered water if, to buy, if I should buy like the Brita water pitchers with the filters or what, or water bottles, or I didn't know. So I actually went to Macy's and I found this, um, what is it called, Bobble? I don't know, there are water bottles that have filters in the um, spout, I guess. And so, okay, so this comes with two water bottles and an extra filter, and it equals up to 900 water bottles. And I think each water bottle lasts for, um, yeah, each water bottle lasts for two months of filtered water. So I figured that's a way better deal, and I got it for like $11 at Macy's. So I was really happy about that. Because I don't, I don't really drink soda or anything. I usually just drink water. So it worked out. So I didn't really want to go through everything. But I, I did just bring a bunch of kitchen stuff. Like I brought a pan. I brought like a little like magic bullet blender thing um, to make like smoothies. 
a George Foreman grill. I have a few bathroom things. Actually, me and Haley planned our bathroom to be Mickey Mouse themed, so I have like the little soap pump. It's like a Mickey Mouse, and we have a shower curtain, a bath rug, cute uh, bath towels, and everything. And it's gonna be like red, white, and black. So super cute. So I just have a bunch of stuff that I'm bringing, and my just my main problem is just how am I gonna fit it all? I haven't even packed my clothes yet. This is just kitchen, bedroom, bathroom stuff. And a mirror and a pillow, like space bags. If you're planning on bringing your entire wardrobe, which I'm really trying not to because I heard that you don't wear a lot of clothes. I mean, <laughs> that came out wrong. You don't wear a lot of your own clothes throughout the program because you're either working and if you're working, like you don't want to get dressed into a whole outfit. You're usually just like in loungewear up until you have to go to work so I'm trying not to bring too much clothes but I have to keep in mind that I am going to be there throughout the holidays my birthday winter and it's like hot right now so I have to bring like summer clothes jackets scarves all kinds of shoes oh my god that's a whole different story Wednesday oh my god it's exciting so it's coming up pretty soon and I'll keep you all updated uh like my journey there this is like so hard I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be but all right I'll see you guys and yeah.